Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Screencastify. So today in this video I'm going to show you how to get the Screencastify extension and then how to use it as well as how to use the video links to embed it into Canvas. So here we go. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is go out to the Chrome Web Store. Once you're in the Chrome Web Store, you're going to click on the little search box and you're going to click on Screencastify. Once you click on Screencastify, go ahead and click enter. And this is going to bring up for you a list of extensions. And it is probably the first one, but it is definitely the one with the pink background. It has the little video icon in an arrow. On the right hand side of that, it is going to put add to Chrome like it shows right down here in this little box. You're going to go ahead and click on add to Chrome and that is going to add the Screencastify extension into your account. And the extensions, they are found up here next to your address bar. So you'll notice here's a list of my extensions that I have. Um, if you look at the one right here, it's the same as the icon down here where you have the little arrow with the video in it. That is your Screencastify icon. And that's really important. You need to have that there. What has the little red dot on it, that means that I'm using it right now. Okay, so once you have the extension, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this. So because I couldn't really take a Screencastify of me using it, I put some pictures into a little presentation here. So let me go through this really quickly. So what's going to happen is up here, you're going to go ahead when you're ready, you're going to just click on that little icon. And when you click on that icon, it will bring up this box for you. And this gives you what options that you want to use with Screencast. So if you want to record just a browser tab, whatever tab you have open, it will only record in that one tab. So if you want to change to a different tab, it won't record that change. If you want to record just your desktop, and then if you change between browsers or change between programs, this, that, and the other, it still records it. You can click on just desktop, or you have an option for webcam only. So those are the three options that you have for recording. Now, if you look right down here below, um, you'll notice the microphone, it will automatically by default pick whatever microphone is on the device that you're using, but that's an area to go for troubleshooting if you are not getting sound the way you're supposed to be getting it. And then finally, you have the option to embed the webcam. This would be if you want to have a video within the recording that you're doing, like I have right here, then you'll want to toggle that on. If you don't want to have the webcam, then you just toggle that off. And then when you're ready and you've made your selections, you're going to go ahead and click on the record button. As soon as you click on the record button, then it's going to bring up this window for you. And in this window, it is going to ask you if you want to record your entire screen or if you want to record an application window. Uh, my guess is that you're always going to use your entire screen. Now, here's a little trick. This, this caught me off guard the first few times that this happened. Um, you have to come and you have to actually click with your mouse on this little box, and then it will put this blue line around it. Once you've selected it with the blue line, you're going to go ahead and click share, and then it is going to do a countdown for you. Three, two, one, record. And then you are going to be into your screen recording, such as what I am right now. Oh, that's weird having both of us there. <laughs> Notice that I, I took a I took a picture of the of what it looks like as well because I have the webcam um, embedded in there. Okay, so since I'm doing that right now, let me show you a couple of things. You can take the window that you if you're using your webcam window, you can move it anywhere you want to on your screen. Just drag it around with your mouse. If you want it gone, you can just click off of it, but then it's gonna be gone. If you want to make it a little bit larger, oh, whoops. That didn't do what I was supposed to do, probably because I am right here in my slide presentation still. So let me exit out of here. But you can make it larger. Um, and then I will also tell you the little bar at the bottom, you can do the same thing with this. You can move it around. So if it's in your way, you can move it. You can hide it. But this is the little bar that you're going to want your stop sharing button on. OK, and then I want to share with you these little tools down here. If you can see them on the bottom left, these little tools are tools that you're going to want to use if you want some kind of, um, of annotating devices. So here I have a little pencil. I can choose whatever color and I can annotate on the screen that I'm on. I can come back and I can erase if I want to erase that. Um, 
here is if I want to click on that embed um, webcam, I forgot to do it the first time, whatever. I have options to do that. This one's a little pointer and it's going to ask you. So you want to point. Great. Then this is going to turn on your pointer or you can turn it off or you can have a little spotlight feature if you would rather have a spotlight feature. So um, several great options here. If you're in the middle of your video and you want to um, pause your video, you can just click on this little pause button down here and it will pause your video. And then you can go, you know, do whatever you need to do, fix whatever you need to fix. Um, I use this one a lot actually. And then you can click it again. It's going to have the little arrow, the play arrow when you're ready to go. So anyway, that is, that is um, how you use the little toolbar at the bottom. And again, I can just move myself around wherever I want. All right, I'm going to get out of um, I'm going to get out of this slideshow because I want to show you a couple of other things. Let me remove my toolbar around so that I can find what I need. Okay, so across the the one of across the top here, I have several tabs open so that we can look at several things. Um, this is a video that I recorded earlier. So as soon as you click on the stop sharing button then this pops up and it's going to show you as it downloads your video. And as it downloads your video, on the right hand side, you're gonna notice um, some things that you can do with your video. And this becomes really important. So um, it, at the, across the top, it will tell you, you know, 13% saved to your drive, but it automatically will save this to your Google Drive. No matter what you do, it just saves it there. It doesn't name it, however, so, I would go into your, your Google Drive as soon as you're done and I would rename it in there. Um, I have way too many videos in there that I haven't gone back and renamed and it's really a pain when you want to go find them again. Okay, once it's finished downloading, you have several options. You can get the shareable link. This is a Google Drive just like any shareable link. Click on it and it will get that. If you want to publish this to YouTube, this is... I guess p different people have different things that they like to do. This, I, I feel like if I publish it to YouTube, it's always out there. I can delete this off of my drive. I don't have to worry about how to get it into anything because you can get YouTube into, into anything you do, right? So um, I'm gonna, if I click on publish to YouTube, it brings up my account automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. If I want to change my privacy features, this is how it will come across as in privacy. So if you're recording something that you want only your students to see, you might want to have it unlisted. And that way, only people with the link can view it. Um, public is pretty much anyone has access to go and find it on YouTube and to be able to watch it. Um, and then private, if you just want to see it yourself first before you um, before you push it out, then you can make it private. But um, more than likely, you're going to want to do one of these two options. As soon as you click on that, then you need to put a title in here. If you don't put a title, it saves it as this. Oh, I have done that so many times. I just frustrate myself sometimes. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and upload that. And it is it now, depending on how long it actually I feel like it uploads to um, to YouTube very quickly here. So now you have the option, you can go view it or you can just copy that link and it gives you right away that YouTube link. So um, that that is some, I feel like a, a really simple way to be able to share your Screencastify. The other thing you can do is you could get an embed code and an embed code, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Um, this embed code is pretty helpful if you want to go out into Canvas and have a way to quickly just take it from one place to the other to upload it. So I have already set up, I'm going to move myself so that, there we go. I've already set up an assignment here um, of a Screencastify assignment. Now, oops, I moved, I moved myself to a bad place. Okay, so I have an embed code. The way I'm going to do my embed code is underneath my assignment box, you're gonna notice that you have these little carrot tops here. If you click on this, this is going to open up for you. It Usually it gives me, there we go. And, um, and I can just put in my embed code there, but you, have to, you do have to make sure you click on that first. And then when I go to save my assignment, then my video is automatically embedded right into my assignment. 
So embed codes are really, really cool. They make things really easy. Um, in fact, let me show you really fast. Um, I didn't have this one ready. I'm sorry about this. So I'll just show you on, on this. I'm going to head out to my channel and that way I can get some a video that I've already created here. Uh, so I'm going to open up this video. Hi, everyone. And if I go down to share on any YouTube video, when I click on share, you'll notice that you can click on embed and there's the embed code. Just click copy and you have that embed code too. So that's how you would find it on a video that you uploaded to YouTube. So it takes an extra step to upload it to YouTube, um, but you can still get an embed code, but then it's out there in case you want to use it for other times. So it's really up to you how you want to um, how you want to be able to take that video and where you want to put it. Like I say, it automatically also goes to your Google Drive. So you could go into your Google Drive and you would find your video there. Okay, so there's, and, and if you want to download it directly to your computer, um, this, I believe it downloads it to an MP4 file. So you could also download it to your computer. Several different ways that you can share it. Okay, so enough about that. I want to share with you one more quick thing and then um, and then I'm going to let you go practice. So if I click on open an editor, this is um, this is for the, the paid account, which we all have. And so if you click on this, uh, they have a nice set of tutorials here now. Um, but in here, you're going to be able to do some editing of your video. So if you wanted to crop your video, if you want to add text, um, you can add several videos together in here if you want to play it so that you can see where you are. This one, you'll notice it's it's so dinky because it was only a two second trial one. <laughs> Normally, it would span across the, the whole bottom here. Um, but you have lots of different features of things that you can do. So there's some text. You can add a text box into there, write something. Um, that's a great feature. So. This is where you would come in and do your editing. And the, the best thing you can do for yourself probably with this one is just to come out here and play around with it just a little bit. Um, the, the add button right here, this is where you would add another clip. And so if you did several clips of Screencastify and you wanted to put them all together, that's how you would do it right there. And then as soon as you're ready, you would go ahead and you would export this video out and it would save it. Um, it will ask you where you want to save it to. Now, a couple of hints, sometimes my videos get lost somewhere. I'm, if I come over to the, to the hamburger grid there, I can look at my recordings. Well, sometimes I, I will tell you this happens a lot with Screencastify, so I have to refresh or I have to re-sign in. Um, don't worry about it. It, it, it. it gets you quickly into where you need to be. So... But um, if you click on there, it, it will bring up all of your Screencastify videos for you so you can go ahead and edit them. So anyway, that is, um, I think that is in a nutshell, kind of what you need to know about Screencastify. And then just go around and, and play with it just a little bit. And I think you're going to be all set for using this with your students in remote learning. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you in our next video.